zombies and cheerleaders, werewolves and space aliens, welcome to the very first... <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe hiding in a pile of dirt wasn't such a good idea. To celebrate the fabulous Zombies trilogy, Cricket and I will be screening some of our favorite Zombies-themed shorts. Which is why we're decked out in these sweet costumes. I'm Zed, the zombie. We're pretty much the same person, except I'm alive. And I'm Winter, werewolf extraordinaire. And I have no idea who I am. And are you sure this is the right size? It seems you may be a bit confused about the Zombies movies, Papa. So, why don't we start by watching a chibi short that explains the whole trilogy? Miss Brenda, will you do the honors? Come on down to Zombie Town and meet our hero Zed. He wants to play football and help the zombies get ahead. Then one day he meets Addison, she slaps him in the face. But soon they both discover they're crushing on each other. Zed proposes Addison, come party with his friends. Meets her snooty parents and plays human make pretend. But look out for Bucky, he's a bully with hot goss. Turns out there's he been hacking to up Zed's football tackling. He goes too far, the zombie zombie out The crowd is out, Buck's nearly chowed, Zed gets arrested Addison reveals she's got secret white hair The crowd is out, her parents bout The zombie kids all feel sad, but then everybody unites Yay! Through the power of friendship they get along Singing this song, no kiss, just hug But now there's another movie Hey, turns out Seabrook has werewolves they're looking for the moonstone or else they will die. Zed's hit by a school bus asking Addy to the prom. Then the werewolf's entrance leads to anti-monster laws. So Zed runs for president to try to make things better. But he zombies out again, so mean old Bucky gets the win. These werewolves think that Addison's the leader of their pack. She gets a couple hair braids, now she's got the werewolves back. They protest at the power plant to rescue the Moonstone. Their dance is super polished, but still the plan's demolished. The werewolves all get sick, the earth begins to crack. They find the stone, they get recharged, a boulder traps them. Addison tells Zed, you need to zombie out. He moves the rock, their lives are safe, they go to front, there's a kiss. But now there's another movie. Whoa, turns out Seabrook has aliens, they need a map to point them to. Utopia! Zed wants to get into college, then he'll be with Addison. But aliens wreak havoc, now the citizens are mad at them. A cheer off is approaching, so the aliens decide. We can't just tell them why we're here, so let's pretend we came to cheer. The aliens investigate the moonstone for a clue, no map. They beam up to their spaceship, Addison gets beamed up to old snap. It turns out that her grandma was an alien space scout. Wait, what? But Addison is sour. Cause she ain't got no power Addison zaps it He zombies out again Turns out she is an alien The map's inside her They jumpstart the ship Get sad and say goodbye Then change their mind Cause Seabrook was Utopia this whole time <sighs> That was a mouthful Did I miss anything? Oh yeah, Eliza's a robot I mean the true love between a zombie and a cheerleader, it's beautiful. <laughs> well, if that moved you to tears, then you'll be even more moved by our special guests, the stars of zombies themselves, Milo Man Hyman, Meg Donnelly! <gasps> but how? Wait a minute. Where's Ma? <laughs> Here we are. Now, please, kindly, get out! Uh, this doesn't look like a movie premiere. It's because it's not. You two just got Grandma! <gasps> Grandma Alice? We should have known something was up when our limo had chickens. So, let me guess. Your grandson put you up to this? <gasps> it's really you! My new best friend's here in the ding dang flesh! So humbled to have you in our presence. You both look so different than in the movies. Oh, yeah, that's just what we look like when we're acting. But this is what we look like in real life. Oh, that makes sense. So, what's this all about? Well, Milo, we just happened to be throwing a zombie thong. But 
Yeah, I'm sorry I made Grandma trick you into coming here against your will. Hit a thing for my grandbabies. But Cricket, you should have just asked us to come. We love chilling with your family. <laughs> you do? Of course. I told you that the last time we tried to pull something like this. Hello? Hey, Addison, it's me, Zed. I'm just calling so I can hang out with you and all your other cool Zombros. Wait, is this Cricket Green? <laughs> The only thing that's green is my sweet hairdo, Addison. Hold on, I'm calling your cousin. Hello. Hey, Bucky, it's your frenemy, Zed. You down for another rat battle? Trev, it's Meg. We're being <laughs> prank called by Cricket Green. My name is Zed. This is not a prank. I'm drawing a blank. Cricket, why are you doing this? Stand by. Hello? It's Willa the Werewolf! Hey, Chandler, this is Meg. And this is Trevor. Cricket Green is prank calling us. Oh, Cricket Green! I love that kid. If by kid you mean the zombie boy named Zed who helped all the werewolves, then yes, that's me. Hey, if you're really Zed and not Cricket, I'm sure you wouldn't mind me saying that Cricket's sister Tilly is the coolest green ever. Oh, Tilly? She's a fashion icon. That purple dress, the puffy sleeves, and don't even get me started on her hair. You know, just my two cents, but Grandma's the bomb. If I was awarding the best green, she'd easily get the silver medal. And for bronze, don't I have a pet goat? Now I'm cricket on the best, I deserve the gold! Wait, Cricket? But we thought you were Zed. Look, I just think you Disney stars are so cool, and I thought you'd only want to be my friend if I lied to you and pretended to be your Zombro. Aw, oh, Cricket, you don't have to pretend to be somebody else. We'd love to hang out with you anytime. All you need to do is be yourself. Be myself? Yeah. Hey, y'all, meet me in the forest. We're gonna go chasing squirrels. Uh... Don't forget to cover yourself with dirt and leaves for camouflage. See you there in 20. Cricket? You still there? Buddy, Zombro? Is he still pretending to be a zombie? Man, I chased so many squirrels that day. Good times. <laughs> Milo, Meg, it's so nice of you to stay after being flim-flammed. Can I get you anything to eat? I'm afraid I don't have any brains. I'll say. That's just my character, Mr. Green. I'm actually not a zombie. <laughs> right, of course, of course. I'm not really an alien. It's time to serve up another random rings where I played matchmaker with Meg Donnelly. Hello? Hi, Meg Donnelly. It's Tilly Green. <laughs> oh, hey, girl. What's up? Well, I just created the perfect guy, and I want to set him up with someone special. Okay. He's got a big orange nose, he can pull off a top hat, and his eyes are so sweet you could eat them. Uh... His name is Frostin. He's a snowman. Uh, well, more like a snow stud. Tilly, I got a level with you. I don't know anyone who wants to date a snowman. What? But Meg Donnelly? That's what everyone said when you fell in love with a zombie. <laughs> Tilly, that was just a movie. I'm worried your snowman is gonna melt. Oh, Frostin is gonna melt. That lucky someone's heart. Hey, Melissa, no, don't need his buttons. Tilly, I appreciate you're such a determined matchmaker, but I gotta get going. Wait. Are you sure you don't know any zombies or werewolves who might be looking for romance? I already wrote a song for Frost and the Professor's Love. That's great, but... You and I belong together, even though I'm made of snow. And we'll survive the stormiest weather as long as it's below 32 degrees Fahrenheit! Tilly, you have a beautiful voice. And this has been fun, but I need to get back okay. to... Grandma! You're gonna hurt Frost in! Tilly? Yeah! Wait, Tilly, why don't you just make another snow person who Frostin can chill with? You never snow what's gonna happen. <gasps> McDonnelly, you're a genius! I gotta call you more often. Okay, bye, Tilly. Farewell, McDonnelly. Send my love to the zombie. Call you next week! I'm worried about that child. So, whatever happened to that snowman, Tilly? <sighs> Spring. Speaking of changes, I gotta say, your family really went all out with your costumes. You look just like Winter the Werewolf. Thank you. My coat is a raccoon. <laughs> and you make a pretty mean Zed, CG. <gasps> CG? Milo and I are officially at the nickname stage of friendship. And Mr. Green, your Bucky costume certainly is uh, a Bucky costume. Oh, thanks. And 
man, Alice, you totally committed to the alien look from Zombies 3 with your blue hair. What are you talking about? This is my regular hair. Oh. Uh, speaking of Zombies 3, let's watch a few more musical shorts. I know we might be crazy, but did you hear the story? I think I heard it vaguely. Yeah. A girl and a zombie. Oh, tell me more, Oops. boy. Yeah. Sounds like a fantasy. Oh, what oh, could go so wrong with a girl and a zombie? <laughs> you and me side by side, out in the bright daylight. Day love, we will say, we're gonna be someday. We're gonna be so. Two lonely hearts <laughs> beating in the dark. Karaoke, get off your phone! Ah! <laughs> you and me, let's go half an hour side together. Cricket love your guy, but the Wi-Fi out there is bad. We can climb the trees, battle bumblebees, get on tether. Nature's full of threats, and the internet's way more rad. You ain't grounded, so quit acting impounded. Until you step outside Rather stay in Favorite show's bad to begin Got games to win Oh no, my guy just died Going offline, it's time You'll be okay without it We can ride a cow right now All I'm thinking about is How there's all these vines And we can swing or chicken slingshots We can swing offline, it's time You'll be okay without it there's no need to make this a fight. Seems to me that you're both sort of right. It's more wise if you find a compromise. Going outside can be wonderful, too. Yes, we're both right, and what's fun to do? My summation, just do both in moderation. Let's try VR. Navigate with the North Star. Somewhat bizarre, there ever was a dispute. Watch a movie. Go outside, make a movie. Then watch that. Remy, stay veiled. Good job, Donny! You're good, Remy. Lizards cannot see. I don't think that's true. Ah! We're going offline sometimes. It's all in moderation. Streaming online and sunshine. Life can be vacation if you find the perfect harmony with internet and reality. Online and offline. It's all about the balance. Oh, it sees me! <laughs> wow. That was amazing. I had no idea you could sing like that. Yep, we're pretty much musical superstars. Dad's gonna drive us to Hollywood any day now. Now, Cricket, don't go putting words in my mouth. Okay, then I'll just put words in Meg and Milo's mouths. What? what? I think what Cricket is saying is, it's time to watch our Zombies Lip Switch. Welcome to Zombies Lip Switch with Big City Greens. What's a lip switch? What's a Big City Greens? So much fun! Lip switch, lip switch, lip switch, lip switch. I don't lip like the switch, sound of this. Can lip someone explain switch. what's going on? Nope. Here we go. Once upon a time in the town of Seabrook, there was a cheerleader. Howdy, I'm Addison. I'm a cheerleader. And a zombie. Hi, I'm Zed. And if you can't tell from my green hair and face paint, I'm a zombie from the movie Zombies. Wee. After years of being mean to the zombies... Get away, get away, get away, get away! The humans have decided to let them go to their high school. Uh, what school? Cricket, stay in character. All right, school's the best. I'm gonna try out for football. Son, we both have green hair and face paint. <gasps> Are you sure football's a good idea? Folks around here don't like us. Oh, they're gonna like me, Dad. And I'm gonna sing about it. I'm the coolest zombie, that's why. I'm in the front, who could not like me? I can't wait to go to school. Sadly, no one likes it. Well, can't get worse than this. Ah, zombie! Ow! 
Whoops, my parents taught me that zombies are dangerous monsters. Rude. But you're kind of cute. No, you're kind of cute. I said it first. But I thought it first. How do you know that you thought it first? Because I was thinking it while you were saying it. What? Strangely enamored by this cheerleader who decked him. Ow! Zed arrives at... Football tryouts! Hey, it's me, the coach! You all made the team! Bingo, bango! Except for the zombie! What? But then, Zed's magical wristband breaks, oh, and he harnesses yeah. his inner zombie power... Brains! ...to plow through some jobs... Fine. ...to rescue Addison from a near-final cheerleading accident! How cool is this stuff? Gotcha! <laughs> You literally just saved my life. Hey, Zed, let's talk. If you intercept footballs like you intercept falling cheerleaders, then welcome to the team. Sweet potatoes, this is awesome. <laughs> Sour potatoes, this is terrible. So Zed gets real conniving. Bop, boop, bop, boop. unlawfully accesses his zombie power. I shall destroy everyone. I'm a zombie. And no one notices, Zed just straight up turned into a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Totally normal. Hit him high, hit him low. Where'd my zombie boyfriend go? Close your mouth, Addison. We will not cheer for zombies, even if Zeddy is our only good player. Oh, come on, Bucky. Why are you so mean? Because I'm the film's antagonist. Um, what's an antagonist? <laughs> what in the haystack they teaching you at this school? Beans, I'm the bad guy! So then, Zed takes Addison to a secret warehouse party. Wow, you zombies are so cool. You know we're gonna sing about it. This choreography shows our camaraderie. Zombies aren't from stress and tea. But then Zed realizes that Addison has a secret of her own. What the heck? Is this white hair? Yeah, it's my deep, dark secret. That's a weird secret. I wear a wig to cover my white hair. I'm different, just like the zombies. Uh, not sure that's the best comparison. Just go with it. Let's sing. Someday, the humans will get along with zombies. Someday, the world will accept that I have white hair. But then, Bucky's allies hack into the magical wristband and fully unleash Zed's inner zombie. Brains! Well, we gonna die. Awooga, awooga, I'm an alarm. Forgive me, monster. Brains? Please don't eat my brains. But the magical wristbands get magically fixed. Ding. Then Zed gets arrested. What? So Addison. Oh my gosh, this is the best part. I'm so excited. Takes off her wig to show everyone it's okay to be different. Aw, what do y'all think of my hair? We still hate zombies, and now we also hate your hair. But then Zed and Addison ambush the cheer championship with a powerful message from the whole town. This is the final song where we all get along. We're out of time, the stories resolve. Don't ask questions. And humans and zombies live happily ever after. Bucky, this whistle represents an olive branch. That's a whistle. No, it's an analogy. I thought you said it was an olive branch. Okay. Addison, we did it. We changed the world. Okay, but no kissing. Let's just hug and then kiss in the sequel. And that's basically the whole movie. Except for the zombie rebel, the misguided parents, the eternal optimist, the surprise cheerleader, a professional dog actor. Woof, I'm a dog. A totally real dumbbell. Go get him, Milo. A colander turned disco ball. Oh, sparkles. These <laughs> sweet moves. Good job, buddy. Zed is a human? I don't like it! Oh, seriously? Flashlights! Ooh, spooky. And this year's winner of Zombie Idol. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. This is a shut it down. That's all for now. To be continued with werewolves! Wow, you kids were right. Doing a lip switch is fun! And that Bucky's a star. It was an honor to be his mouth. So what are we gonna lip switch next? Ooh, let's do another right now! Uh, I think we were gonna... Go play outside? What? what? No! no. Lip, lip switch! Lip, lip switch. switch! What have we done? You know, Cricket, if I didn't know any better, it seemed like you were kind of making fun of our movie. Well, I know zombies eat brains, but I didn't know you couldn't take a little ribbing. <laughs> Hey, Milo, I have an idea. I think you and I should pick the last short for the big grand finale. And uh, say what now? You're right, Meg. Why don't we show our favorite theme song takeover? What? No. Anything but that one. Too late. Hit it, Miss Brenda. Ah, another theme song takeover. Who's up this time? Tilly? Not me. Wait, is it my turn? I didn't write anything. Actually, this time, it's our turn. <gasps> Milo, Milo Manhunter, 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 Manhunter,
That's right, Greens. You've had your fun lampooning our zombies movies. So we spent all night hiding in your chimney to surprise you with the ultimate revenge. A musical roast. You what? Ha! You think you can get under our skin? The Greens have been called every name in the book. Ooh, this ought to be good. Better start growing aloe vera, Bill, because you're about to get burned. Oh, no. We hope that you don't think it's mean as we lampoon big silly Greens. I mean, that's what the script tells us to say, so. That's it! Strangle hold time! <laughs> Milo, save yourself! Come back here, pretty boy! No! Nobody crosses the greens! Even dreamy Disney stars! Well, on that note, our very first zombie thon has come to an end. Thank you so much for being here, Milo Manheim and Meg Donnelly. You're welcome, Tilly. We may have not known we were coming here today, but we're sure glad we did. Anyway, it's time for me to return home now. See you next time, Green Family. Come on, Milo. Goodbye, everyone. Is that a UFO? But she said she wasn't an alien. I told you, Bill, you can never trust actors. Oh, no. They're going for the cow. Miss Brenda! Well, I guess we gotta deal with this now, so see you next time. Cheerleaders, werewolves, and space aliens, welcome to the very first... Yeah, oh, yeah, maybe...